Hi, welcome to Starbucks for the next video. Hi, um, <clears throat> can I get a grande, um, dirty chai, please? Hot or iced? Iced. Alright. Can I also get a bacon gouda and egg sandwich, please? Mm-hmm. And that's it. Moving on 1145, I'll see the next one. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Yo, that was atrocious. That was actually my first time talking since I woke up, to be fair. But good morning, guys, and welcome, or welcome back. Yeah, I probably won't sound like myself for the next hour, so. You're probably really confused because you don't normally see, like, if you consistently watch me, you don't see Azzy up at this time. Very occasionally, when you do, it's normally to, like, go out of town or because I have, like, a valid reason. So, in today's video, I hope you guys can hear me. Ever since I've moved here, I have yet to like watch a sunset on the beach. And although I'm really pushing it now, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not really gonna make it. By sunrise, did I say sunset or sunrise? Either way, you know what I'm talking about. According to the time, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I've never done that. And let me open my Starbucks up. I feel like since I have the opportunity to like wake up and go to the beach, and not even just any beach, like a nice beach at that, although I feel like it'd be great regardless of the beach that you go to. I just feel like this is, this is how I would love to start more of my mornings. Really just grounding myself on the beach. Hi. Um, can I use this first? Thank you. And then can I also do Apple Pay? Thank you. Thank you. I'm not even gonna ask for a straw even though I'm not <clears throat> Damn, how do I even get to the beach from here? I'm still like navigating my way around this area that I moved to. It's a lot different from where I used to live. I feel like I've said that a million times. It is. Like, I'm very interested how West Miami is going to take me to a bridge to cross to the... Mm. This is a dirty chai. I must be an addict because I can almost swear this has no coffee. <laughs> so, I got a drink. We got Starbucks at 6.40 in the morning. The sun is rising, but... It's okay, because I'm still up. Like, I still got up at least four hours earlier than I normally would. And I feel like this is what I need, because with the day, it's not ending so much sooner now, but it gets dark so much sooner, it does feel like the days are half the time. And it can be really sad to feel like you just woke up, and then it's already getting dark, and you don't know. Like, it, I don't like it at all. Like, I honestly completely forgot this shit existed, and I'm ready for it to be gone. It's okay, though. It's just a part of this time of year. Oh yeah, another thing, like another way we can kind of, where I'm going about this video is just kind of habits that I want to take into the new year and just um, kind of revisit different activities and hobbies that I was once more interested in. And it's not that I'm not interested in them anymore. You just get kind of like burnt out or I don't know. It's easy to just be like, oh, I want to do this. Instead. And yeah, one of those things, like I really want to actually journal more and document just my day-to-day -day life on paper and how I feel because the moment I get my pencil and start writing in my journal, I have so much to say every single time and I don't even have to think about it. It's not like, what am I going to write about? I don't even have to think about it. Like I love physically writing. I like my handwriting. Like I like actually writing. So it's nothing I'd want to type out or anything. I do that all day anyway. But it hurts my hand. Like after a couple pages, I'm genuinely, it's not that I'm no longer interested, but I just, like I, I tell myself I'm gonna revisit it later and finish it and I just never do. But sometimes that's enough. And that's like valuable enough for you to look back at at the end of the year, you know? Or even a couple months from now. Like it's insane to look back at my journals, even from, cause I have, Damn, I've had a lot of journals. I remember one I had when I was 16 or 17. It got me in trouble because I snuck out and I wrote like every detail about it in my journal and it was found. Yeah, threw that shit away. I wish, oh my God. I wish I still had those journals. Don't throw away your journals. But even, like I think the, I have journals that date back to before I moved here, whenever I first decided to move here, months before that. And even that is just really cool to go back and look at.
cheap but having this amount of parking is actually unbelievable you're kidding right you guys may be like where like all of this is never here you're so lucky if you get a spot right here I need gas, but there's absolutely no way I'm gonna get it around here because they could still get away with charging like five dollars a gallon because we're near the beach. I'm out of breath because I had to walk like somewhat of a ways to get back. That was so nice though. I want to do that like every day now and actually get up at five and have a chance to watch the sunset or the sunrise. Jeez. So it is now 8:48, still earlier than I would normally get up. Oh, there's a pink bus. But now I want to go back home and fuel my body a little bit more so I can go to the gym. Ah, I'm going to be at the gym by like, I'm going to get home at 9.15. I'll say I'll be at the gym at like, it should be before 11. So while we are on the topic of fitness, I did want to say thank you to Copilot for partnering with me for today's video. So I talked about Copilot, it was maybe four or five months ago, and I am proud to say that I am still using Copilot to this day what copilot does is it helps you reach your fitness goals with a real coach and it's designed to build consistency you will uncover how to get started how to find time and how to stick with your fitness goals our coaches don't shame pressure or judge you whatsoever I have now had two co-pilot coaches. I have had amazing experiences with both. They are just the sweetest people and are really gonna be a safe space for you when it comes to fitness. Instead, they help you focus on what you can do today, building routines and just having an amazing quality of life. They focus on consistency, not transformation. These are real people with personalized guidance. These are not robots. You know, it's not just an app that's just gonna give you these cookie cutter workouts that aren't really 
designed for you and you know what you would need to reach your goals. These are real people and you are specifically assigned with a coach that is going to work for you. They like to focus on what you can do today, which actually leads to long-term change instead of something that just gives you super quick results, but normally isn't sustainable whatsoever. So my coach's name is Erin. I absolutely love Erin. She is a sweetheart. I was able to physically get on a call with her and we were able to, first of all, introduce ourselves. She kind of got more of an understanding for like my previous experience with fitness and you know, all of those details. She asked me what my goals were, what I want to work towards, just all of that good stuff. And even if it's just maintenance that you're looking to do, Copilot has you covered. If you're just getting into fitness, if you're already experienced with fitness, Copilot has a person for you. I just love Copilot because it's so personalized and it seriously is like a coach in your pocket. Honestly, whenever I first heard of Copilot, I was a little bit hesitant myself. Speaking from someone that normally would just kind of do my own thing, the fact that I have found something that just gives me more structure is amazing. And also is what really reintroduced me to working all of my body parts opposed to just lower body and some back. There was a lot of upper body that I had just not done in a while or didn't really have much experience with and Copilot really built my confidence back up to be able to go in the gym and do chest and triceps, do shoulders, back and biceps, all of that good stuff. With all that being said, I highly recommend Copilot and I will be sharing a workout with you guys later on in the video that was provided to me through Copilot that I am actually doing. I highly encourage you guys to check out Copilot. If you guys are interested, feel free to click the link in my description box to get 14 days free with your very own expert fitness and health coach. Okay. So I am back inside my place. It is 9.30. I am going to sound like a little bit congested, unfortunately, because I just got over being sick again. Um, like, this is like day three of me feeling fine. I just have a little bit of congestion and I want it to go away so bad because listening to somebody that's congested, at least for me, I feel like I can't breathe when I listen to it. So I'm hoping that's not what this is giving off because I know that shit is annoying. I'm trying my best, but I can't like, I'm giving myself a lot of time to heal and get better. I don't have much more time to just sit and do nothing. So, hi guys. I'm gonna do a little laundry while I'm here just so things can be washing because there's pretty much always something that could be washed. Honestly, I'm tired, which is understandable. I like put my phone down to start going to bed around 11, but I probably wasn't officially asleep until like 11.45. So I got like six hours of sleep, which isn't awful. But I'm gonna at least get, no, we're not going to bed. This will just result in me going to bed earlier tonight, which is a good thing. So while that's washing, honestly, I'm not starving, but I need something. I definitely want some watermelon. Yeah, let me wash my hands. It's like I guess I'll eat turkey bacon in a bagel at least, but I don't even want either. What's the weather tomorrow? Damn, it's 71 right now, that's good. Tomorrow is 79 and 40% rain. I've actually found that I prefer my turkey bacon. I mean, bacon in general in the air fryer is just really good. So I'll put my turkey bacon here at 360 for like six minutes because I don't like it super crispy, but I don't want it to be this color anymore. I'm so tired. I need to stop saying that, but I could knock out right now. Key. Something that I don't think I realized was affecting me as much as it was, was having absolutely no natural light in my place because my blinds, it like wouldn't allow me to roll them up. And that's been the case for the last week or so. And I haven't even really thought about how not getting any sunlight in my place has allowed me to just feel tired and just eh, not good. But I just got up on the step stool and fixed it and it already feels so much better in here. Also, it's nice because I'm able to actually see my cats outside. They absolutely love being outside and they don't try to go anywhere or do anything, but it is nice to be able to actually see them. Hi.
Okay, so update, it is 11 a.m. Definitely took my time, but I'd say that's acceptable. It's still only 11 a.m. though, and it already feels like it's been half a day, but I am getting ready to go to the gym here now. Putting on my outfit. I actually tried to go to the gym yesterday. I was on my way there. I think it was like 7.30. It was definitely gonna be a later session, and I'm so happy I looked it up before I got there because it was closed. They closed early on the weekends, and it had already closed at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. But I think this is what I want to wear this gym shark zip up with these shorts honestly i don't know what body part i'm doing today i was gonna do back and biceps yesterday but considering i was sick and i haven't worked out anything in i don't even know what day, this is probably like day five it doesn't really matter i'm gonna figure it out when i get there just depending on how busy it is but i would really hope it's not busy at 11 a.m. on a Monday. There's always people there regardless. One of the things that sold to get a membership for my gym, although I've yet to do either. First of all, they have a hot tub and they have, it's like, it's not an ice bath, but it's cold and it's supposed to help with, it has a lot of benefits. And I've yet to do either. Um, and I'd love to be, you can go and like bring your bathing suit. They give you towels, slides to go in that area and everything. Oh, they also have a sauna and like, but it's not like a wet it's like a dry sauna and something else i like haven't even really it's like its own world once you enter those doors and i haven't even we'll see i'm gonna bring a bathing suit just in case but i'll definitely you know go and scout it out before i even go up in there but booty ass naked and there's like people in there i don't know you have to setting where you're expected to wear a bathing suit but it's not the pool you know it's still it's a setting in a setting where you don't wear a bathing suit if that makes sense We'll see. I'm just touching up my hair real quick. We're gonna head to the gym. I've yet to film this gym. I'm kind of nervous, although I feel like I'd be less nervous to film in this gym than the last one I used to go to. You know, the coaches will record their clients working out or like their social media or whatever. So I've at least seen that, but I haven't seen anyone like openly record themselves. Not that I've seen, I don't know. A little G7X is really not, it's not that noticeable. <laughs> surroundings whenever I first get inside because I just run straight to the bathroom like it's just a habit of mine but yeah I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I guess all right you guys so this is actually footage from the following day I did attempt to record my workout that I was telling you guys about prior it was a back and biceps day which I can do at some point but the footage was just not good I had already knew halfway through that was not gonna be what I wanted to show you guys so here I am redoing that and today we have a lower body workout this workout specifically is quad and glute focused here I am just warming up on the steps I typically just like to go in for five minutes to warm up my body before getting into my official warm-up before we get into the workout warming up and activating those muscle groups that you're going to be working out intensely is so important to just kind of wake up your body and i mean no one wants to or should be going into some heavy squats after doing absolutely no warm-up it's just not safe you're basically setting yourself up for injury so definitely make sure to get a good warm-up in before you start your sets and I know you guys don't want to be in the gym confused. Okay, what exact warm-up should I be doing to get my muscles ready for my workout? Your coach on Copilot will lay all of this out for you. It's never something you're going to have to worry about or second guess about. Copilot is just going to have you walk in into the gym like you know exactly what you're doing. Because, I mean, you do. It's literally all laid out. It's designed just for you. And it just allows you to go into your workout with confidence. All right, guys, so the first exercise for this workout, as you guys may be able to guess, are barbell squats. Um, I always feel like this is genuinely such a good starter exercise to a good lower body workout, a nice compound lift. 
So I am starting off by doing my warm-up round. So I am just using the barbell, which is 45 pounds. Definitely would recommend, you know, warming up that squat movement before you get into actually pushing a weight that is challenging for you. Even if the bar is challenging for you, start with body weight. That's great too. If you're ever unsure about an exercise, one thing I love about Copilot is that they're always going to have a video provided on how to perform the exercise. So you're not going to have to go out of your way to search somewhere else. It's always going to be right there for you. Once again, you will always have your coach on hand. So if you ever have any questions when it really comes to anything, your coach is going to be there for you. These are times where I'm actually glad that I'm recording because I rarely get to ever really look back at my exercises, but my form here is just not good. I'm leading with my butt, which is exactly what you're not supposed to do. It's good for something to be challenging, but not when it affects your form. If that's the case, just go a little bit lower and continue to work on that form. I did go I think over a month without doing squats so I'm kind of building my way back up. I did go back in and do this weight one more time but I'm not able to do 10 with this at the moment so this is where I'm you know staying but I'm really glad that I was able to look back at this footage in my form so I can correct that moving forward. guys so the next exercise that we have are dumbbell hip thrust i did have a conversation with my coach prior explaining how it would have been kind of awkward to bring a bench from the front all the way to the squat rack so that's where we improvised and she set my workout to dumbbell hip thrust for now so that's what i did and they were actually really good like they were challenging and i enjoyed doing dumbbell hip thrust
right guys so as you can see i am now doing bulgarian split squats i definitely do not look forward to this exercise never have but i have been doing them more consistently so i mean they're still terrible but they're a little more tolerable because i'm getting stronger you know bulgarian split squats are proven to be one of the best lower body exercises so my coach aaron definitely knew to throw those in for me um i have a slightly closer stance and as you can see my body is kind of bent over that front leg this is to target the glutes more All right, guys, so for this next exercise, I'm actually doing leg curls. It was supposed, I was supposed to be doing leg press. That's what my coach, you know, had written out for me. But it wasn't until it was time to do them that I don't think my gym has a leg press machine. So I just resulted to this machine instead. This one definitely targets more hamstrings than quads, but it's okay. A little hamstrings on a quad focused leg day never hurt nobody. Alright guys, so for this last exercise, we have the machine leg extension, not just any leg extension, these are single leg leg extensions. Doing any exercise that is single leg is really beneficial because it's really good to work each leg separately as well, build the strength of the legs separately. So yes, I did three rounds of 12 of these. Alright guys, so the last thing that I'm going to be doing is some stretching after my workout. One thing I love about Copilot is that they prioritize recovery and just really taking care of your body. So I'm always reminded to stretch. I'm given the types of stretches I can do after my workout so there's no thought put into it. And it's it really is the best way to wind down after working so intensely on your body. I got a comment like really recently and it was basically saying someone was saying I ain't never seen you make pancakes before you're always making eggs and that's actually true I haven't made pancakes in such a long time I used to love making them and I just kind of forgot they existed so that'll be really good for me because I'm sick of the eggs I did not know they had cup noodle versions of these. I love this ramen. Look at this one too. Yes, these are gonna hit. 
when I'm just in bed at night and I don't like you know I just want a little snack yeah I figured they wouldn't have everything I needed here I knew I should have went to Walmart kind of forgot that I'm supposed to be recording myself grocery shopping but at the same time you guys just saw me do that like a video ago but yeah I think I'm done there's a couple I'm, I keep forgetting to like I think I'm done and then I forget that <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I just got out of Publix and that last interaction you guys heard me have or saw me have right before I turned off the camera. This man paid for all of my groceries, bro. That shit ended up being $130 worth of food. Man pulls out $200 bills and just pays for my shit in cash. And he didn't get shit in return. Like, I mean, who would say no to that? Literally got all my shit for free. So I am gonna go ahead and go to Walmart to see if they have this seasoning because there's a specific lady that I like to watch. I like to watch her shorts on YouTube. It's the Gaming Foodie. And she has a recipe for like the best way to make a sushi bake and she i'm like getting i want the specific ingredients that she used and two of them it says they're at walmart so i'm gonna go hey. i think she wanna go this is exactly what i was looking for perfect they have this at walmart and there's one other thing This car is literally so dramatic if you get too close to a car. It's done this twice, and I swear I have not even gotten that close. Not enough for it to be doing all of that, but I guess I got too close to this car, and my car completely slams on the brakes for me, and it tightens my seatbelt, and it tightens me to the seat, which is great because it's a safety feature, but not when I'm barely even close to the car. Like, this shit has happened twice in the last, like, two minutes. Once again, it's a good feature, but if that shit were to just randomly happen to you, and then you try to press the gas and it's still not letting you go. It's still forcing you to brake. And there's cars right behind me having to slam behind me because my car wants to freak out. At that point, it's not even safe. I swear I felt that shit in my back. I ate, but not enough for it to be doing that every other minute. <laughs> okay, anyway, I am currently on my way to a car wash. I actually tried to come to this place yesterday, but I guess they were closed on Sunday, so here I am trying to go today. I feel like I may be fucking myself over with the time that I'm going. Like, it's 4 p.m. on a Monday. But also, I don't know, how many people are gonna go straight to the car wash after work? I feel like people would just wanna go home. I don't know, we'll see. But this time in general is just a busy time, so we'll see. If the line is really long, I'm not gonna go. But I have not had a car wash in months. Like, since I moved into this place, it's been almost two months. Going on two months, and I have yet to get a car wash. Like, my car is so dirty, inside and out. So, it is definitely much needed. I wonder if I can get, like, a little before and after for you guys, because it's atrocious. And I want my car to feel brand new again. This is not, okay, at least there's not a bunch of junk in here. It's just dirt, and how you'd expect a white car to get collectively over time but yeah i've never been to this place i can't or if i were to go to the car wash that i used to go to it's like 35 minutes from me now so that would not i mean it no i'm not driving that far there's other businesses as long as it's a hand car wash I'm good. it's so weird being in the back the car almost looks cooler from back here because you can see everything I'm gonna let it get to like 50. Literally, look at how dirty. It's brown. That is awful. Ew. Yeah, that car wash may be worth the wait. The next place I have to go is opening so nice. So, there's no phone in it, so. Yeah, this is um like the perfect example of me progressively getting more nervous because I can already tell by the lips that I'm reading that they're speaking Spanish so I'm going to be spoken to in Spanish next and I'm not going to want to respond in Spanish did I know enough to understand and give him mm -hmm, um, to get my car washed yes 
but did I respond? Like, did I use anything I've ever learned? Absolutely not. Let's go ahead and get my stuff together. Oh, I'm nervous. Uh, this is Ahí está bien. Ahí está. Para la vara adentro y afuera. Uh -huh. Ok. Te sale en 45 todo. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Alright guys, so I just got back into my car. It has been a minute, like sun is damn near set, but I will say it's worth it because they did such an amazing job. I got into my car and it looks how it did when I first got it, inside and out. I know like it's been dirty for so long, so anything is just amazing to me, but they genuinely did a good job. Um, yeah, so this place is more of like a detailing service opposed to just a car wash. So my total ended up being $48, which is still not bad for how my car looks at all. It's 34 minutes. It's not bad. Basically, it was $68 because I gave a $20 tip because $5 was just like, thank you. Ugh, not like. So the next place that we are going to go is the Lincoln Road Mall, which I used to go to all the time. Anyways, I used to go to Lincoln Road Mall all the time when I was closer, but um, I'm actually going today. I don't, like I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to go now unless I was in the area. But last night I was on the Apple website and I ordered something, not for myself, but for my little sister. Tenille has been, like, she will not stop talking about the pink iPad. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I think it came out not that long ago. It's like the 10th generation. Have they made that many iPads? Anyways, um, it is really pretty. And that's like the main thing that she wants for Christmas. So I ordered it for pickup last night. And I was actually supposed to pick it up at 1.30. But as long as they're open, I feel like I should be able to pick it up. I don't think just because I don't go during the time frame, they're going to say, oh, no, you're supposed to come hours ago. We can't give it to you because I purchased it. But, um... Yeah, I was not expecting to be there that long. It was worth the wait, but I wasn't prepared. I didn't bring any snacks. I should know myself well enough to know I should not be doing that. Or not be not doing that. And then I'm going to cook dinner. So I need to eat something. But I don't know what. Eating is a literal chore. It's like every hour, two hours, like, it's time to... This nail is about to rip off and it like is so uncomfortable. It's like a loose tooth. I'm gonna have to show you guys how clean my car is when I can, like maybe once I get there, but I wasn't gonna do it there because I wasn't gonna be like, like, at the, I don't know, I just can't. So we'll find somewhere else to show you guys, but oh my gosh, it looks good. My car was literally tan because it was so dirty. I wish Lincoln had boba, like why don't they have Oh boy. Ah, uh, my because I'm hungry. I'm just going to the Apple store, which is right here. So if I don't have to pay for parking, like if I can find a spot here, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm literally gonna be here all day if I'm waiting. I don't even know if they're leaving. Um, okay. Like. This car reversed all the way back, literally just to drive. Oh my, and I'm, people are behind me trying to get out because this car's right here, but they can't move because of this car. Oh my gosh, go home.
if I can't find parking in this big ass parking lot, one of the many, on a Monday, that is an issue. <laughs> There's just a random firework. I wonder if that's gonna happen again. What? I feel like I don't even live in Miami anymore whenever it's time to come back over here like so VJ I had sushi from that place and it was absolutely disgusting Look at it. <laughs> ah, I'm getting like, like my body's itching because of the change in temperatures. Ooh. Something I forget about when you live in an area, like a vacation area, people are gonna get here. Like they're gonna be here around the holidays. I'm over here talking like, why are so many people here? The lady inside of Apple, um, she was asking, Ooh, is it a Christmas gift? I was like, yeah. She was like, for yourself? I was like, no, for my little sister. She was like, oh, that's a good Christmas gift. I was like, thank you. This is an iPad. My sister is going to flip. I'm so excited to give this to her. Now I just need to get like wrapping paper. I'm getting McDonald's. I'm starving and I did not expect to not eat for this long because of how long I was at that damn car wash. It's five minutes away. I literally need it now. I just need something like I don't want a whole meal because I wanted to get stuff to make food but then I'm gonna have to go to the store get stuff to make food. I didn't even thaw out the salmon that I was gonna use. So it's like at this point is it really worth it? Do it tomorrow. I have all day tomorrow. Honestly I'll probably document a little bit of my day tomorrow to do the things that you guys didn't get to see today because this just goes to show you can't be perfect like no matter how early you wake up no matter what you do like what you try to avoid things are not gonna go perfectly um and I've well I really don't feel like I've done that much I just feel like certain things have been time consuming but I really don't feel like I did that much today but waking up so early and going to the beach and journaling and unplugging is enough in itself. But yeah, I can't. Ooh. They were like starting to wait for me and then I'm like, never mind. I'm um, literally going the opposite way. Can you please show me an alternative route at Park Miami? I'm gonna get hot that. Appreciate it. Thanks. Didn't show me anything. Yeah, I seriously have a pounding headache. No, I'm not, I didn't even thaw out salmon. I'm not, huh? I'm not cooking dinner. If anything, I'd rather like straighten up my place tonight because it's a mess again already. Like I'd rather mop and wake up in a clean space than worry about cooking when it's 7 p.m. Absolutely not. That was a really cute idea. Okay, no. Now it's telling me to make a left and it just told me to make a right. Ah. I'm not using this until it's time to go home. That's ridiculous. how fucking dramatic I sound right now but I was just expecting it because you know that's like one of the joys of McDonald's is not having to get out of the car like, I just have a headache I'm gonna go home I am parallel parking okay. I'm gonna leave you guys in the car It was busy in there. They were hauling ass, working hard, and my shit's still crispy. 
Ooh, good customer service. My, uh, I ordered at like the little stand thing. I'm so hungry. And it didn't print out my receipt, so I had to figure out huh, which one was mine. Oh, also my phone died, which never happens to me. I'm not the type where like my phone dies throughout the day, but it's because I've been up for 14 hours already. Almost 14 hours. Yes, this is me being judgmental, but I better not see your girl walking behind you. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's like, I feel like it's a combination of mommy instincts and also just boyfriend instincts because I swear I'd be a better boyfriend than half these. Your girl could get snatched. You don't know what's going on when she's walking behind you. Absolutely not. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves. I go to get on my phone. It's such a habit. Well, I was going to look up how to get home. But thankfully, my car has navigation, which is actually tolerable. I feel like sometimes it's like not. Yeah, this one here is the spot for this night. No need to go grocery shopping and cook. And I got Coke. I always get a 10 count nugget meal with fries. I got a large meal. This girl's boyfriend literally just jokingly shoved her into the street. Like onto the crosswalk as cars are literally coming. Yeah, I can never complain about the days feeling short ever again. I'm simply just, I wasn't waking up early enough. You want a long day? And now it's perfect because at this point I'm exhausted. And all I want to do is go to bed. Okay, now that I'm home. I can actually show you guys my car just real quick, not like a whole car tour or anything. But I just want to show y'all how clean it is. Like it went from so dingy to you being able to see your reflection. Oh. This is what it looks like. So much cleaner. Like it's actually shiny. Look at the tires. The tires were so bad. They were tan. In the back, you can't tell, but yeah, you can see my reflection. Actually, no, it's clean. They paid so much attention to detail. I haven't walked it. But yeah, they did a really good job. So I'm just here to provide a little bit of context. Sorry for the sound that my laptop is making. I feel like it's about to blow up. I don't understand what's going on, but hopefully you can still hear me. Basically, I just wanted to add an actual cooking segment to this video, which this video took two days to film. So majority of the footage was filmed the first day opposed to the actual workout that I shared with you guys because I had planned to already film my workout the following day since I didn't like the footage from the actual day. Um, and then I also did the grocery shopping and this cooking segment all within the second day. I'm just adding it. It's at the end. It's not going to make the most sense timeline wise, maybe, but it was all intended to go in the same video just for a little explanation. Hey guys, um, good morning. So it is in fact not morning, it's like 6 p.m. And well, whenever you guys last saw me, I was at the grocery store. Yeah, I came home. You know, I unloaded the groceries, I ate a little sandwich, had some lunch. Hello, sir. You're like right under my teeth. Yeah. Hello, sir. 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 Hello, Yeah, we'll get that cleaned up in a second. Yeah, I came home, I ate a sandwich, some noodles, you know, it was cool. I fell asleep. Hi, sir. <laughs> Hello? Like, how do you have litter on your face? Yeah, recently, if I'm tired and I feel like I need a nap, I'm gonna take a nap. Especially since... I mean, yeah. My mind results straight into like you could have been doing things. Like that was supposed to be your cleaning time. Are you still gonna be tired later? But anytime I take a nap, I still be going to bed. I kind of wish I would have stayed up, but it's okay. So I just went on Instacart and I ordered cat food, salmon, dry cat food, wet cat food, and salmon because I need all of them. I wish I would have got them earlier when my shit was free. It's okay. Until then, I am gonna straighten up, but I'm not gonna film that because you guys just saw me deep clean. My place just gets messy pretty much every single day. I'm gonna eat a yogurt until then because I'm hungry. I'm trying to remember what my dream was. Oh yeah, I was, I had moved somewhere. Like, it was just a new apartment that I moved into and it was already furnished. And it had so many like cute and unique features about the place. And it's like they had not only 
left it furnished but decorated and everything and it was just very interesting that's like the only dream i can remember but even last night i was having some vivid dreams that i remember and i remember them being pretty lengthy like i've been having vivid sleeps my bathroom is full of clothes all over the floor also another thing i'm just gonna go ahead and address in this video because i didn't really know how to go about it even though it it's not that serious like sometimes whenever i'm i want to talk about something i feel like i'm like i make it seem like i have to figure out how to muster up the courage to talk to my parents yeah so remember what i did like a whole video two months ago where i said yeah i don't think like the two cars is it for me i don't really care about the mustang anymore i don't want the mustang anymore um that is not the case i thought it was and then i didn't have a mustang for a month and you know i was i'm very thankful for the car that i have whenever you're an american muscle girl like not having that v8 is just like oh my god you always whip in the four cylinder and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but for me personally i am just more into cars than your average and that is like i just really miss the mustang that was it and so instead of me just missing it i got another one so no i didn't go back and get slime or anything someone has since rehomed slime like they bought him and it's actually really cool to see my car in somebody else's hands who's like repping the wrap the exhaust like they left all of that on and i love it for them i haven't like commented on their stuff or anything i just look at it sometimes and it's cool plus it's nice to like have a new one where i can choose the base color that i wanted because the color i picked out two years ago for that car i wouldn't have picked now so it's all black it's two years newer it's a 2021 um but they haven't changed the body style or anything so i don't really notice a difference but of course you know it's nice has black interior um, I already I've had it for a month since then I've already replaced the stock wheels and tires because if you know like if you're gonna buy a muscle car it's okay to keep it how it is but realistically you're not gonna leave it stock in like how you bought it and those wheels had to go those were one of the first things that had to go those like 18 inch wheels that come with the Mustang just weren't gonna work and those wheels weren't unknown so I got those replaced with 20, 20 inch wheels and tires blacked out and then I've also I already upgraded the exhaust it has a corsa extreme catback exhaust on it and on my last car i had a borla attack catback corsa is just supposed to be a little more raspy a little more high pitch but honestly i don't notice much of a difference but it sounds really good and then i have an appointment tomorrow to get on my front chin spoiler the back spoiler like the wing on the back and the emblems blacked out because they're silver that's how they come e ever since i wrapped my car the split wrap and i had it half black and half green I had always imagined what the car would look like blacked out. Blacked out anything just looks so good. Oh, and then also, whoever previously had the car blacked out the taillights. So, yeah, that's just gonna look. It looks clean and it's gonna look cleaner. I have an appointment at 8 a.m. tomorrow to get all that put on. But I'm just saying it now. So, when y'all see me hop the Mustang, like, y'all already know what it is. Azzy, like, she was not ready to not drive a Mustang. Absolutely not. I thought I was. Like, oh yeah, Mercedes. Which is great. I still have the car. And I still drive it frequently. But yeah, I thought I was ready to not have that. And I'm not. And yes, it is more expensive. But at the end of the day, it's expensive to live here in general. And nobody said I'm going to live in Miami my entire life. So at the end of the day, I can afford it. But anyone appreciates paying less. So yeah, that was cute while it lasted. Cat toys? No. Plastic bags? Yes. This is what it's like being a mommy to a kitten. You literally have to wipe their ass like a baby because actually I don't know at first yes I'm wearing Crocs the floors are dirty maybe okay maybe we could just use a baby wipe ah yeah at first he was having this like really watery diarrhea which was absolute hell to clean I wore gloves I don't understand how you poop and it just like stops here you know and it like doesn't fall to the ground. Maybe we need to trim your booty hair a little more. It would be easier if we made you. I know, baby, I know. I had to do the same thing with Louie when he was a baby. <laughs> Bro, I need more gel. I'm out. Some lukewarm water and some gentle soap. To wash your booty, boy. Just the bottom. He hates it, but 
We need to like loosen it up. The baby wipe is only doing so much. Unless you want me to like rip it off. But I don't really think you want me to do that. So. See you straight. Should I be doing the bath doing this in a bathtub? Yeah, probably, but you know like you wash babies in the sink? I know. It's okay. I feel ya. Stinky boy. When he gets older, he should be used to that. In case you haven't needed. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Look, look, it's off, it's off, it's off. Ow, it's the scratches. Look, now you got soaked because you're trying to escape me knowing it's not, that's not gonna work. If you trim their claws, it doesn't hurt. If it hurts when your cats are using their claws, you need to cut them because obviously they have claws. Okay, all done. Oh, let me make sure my do not disturb is off. I have groceries being delivered. Okay. He's cleaning him. I have like micro scratches on me. It's like they hurt, but they're barely there. He looks like a sad little rat and I feel so bad. You okay? <sighs> Not the towel? No. Last time he fell asleep with a hot towel on him, right out the dryer, and fell asleep after he had his last bath. broiled anything before and that was one of the directions to do towards the end for a couple minutes I did it for more than a couple minutes at 500 degrees so this is what it looks like and it's not burnt I'm okay with it it just doesn't look as like the video but it's fine okay so now we make our own spicy mayo because we all know this needs some reviving so she just mixed
Thank you so much to Copilot for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested, feel free to click the link in my description box to get 14 days free with your very own expert fitness and health coach.